Hello everyone watching this video. Today I'm here to talk more about C++ and uh, this time we are getting into a bit of uh, intermediate C++ programming and we'll start with arrays. Alright, it's fun stuff. So um, in this video I'll talk about what is an array, um, how do you initialize an array, how do you access the values of array, and I'll talk about uh, some some of it about character arrays or character sequence, which uh, most of you know as strings. Okay, uh, what is an array? Um, so far, when you are declaring a variable, you have one identifier and you store some value, uh, only one value to that identifier. Um, whereas an array is a way of storing multiple values in one single identifier. Okay, for example, you can see three different integer values can be stored in a same int identifier using an array. Okay, so if you have a int array with three different values, then it can be represented as this table right here. Okay, uh, this upper row is called the index of the array, and the lower one is called I is the values that are in the arrays. Okay. Um, you'll get um, more understanding of it as you move on. So how do you declare an array? Um, if you want to declare an array of integers named uh, my array, uh, where you want to store three values, it can be declared as just like this: int my array, and in the square braces, square brackets, you can say three. Three represent the number of number of elements that you want to store. Okay. So basic syntax would be type, let's say int, float, double, ca char, or whatever you want to say. Okay. Then what do you want to call that? Uh, call that array. Uh, so that would be the identifier name and how many elements you want to store in that array. Okay. Which is number of elements. Okay. So, uh, but the problem is that the number of elements within these uh, square braces right here should be a constant value when declaring an array because array is a block of non-dynamic memory whose size must be fixed and determined before you actually execute an array, okay? We'll talk about more about uh, dynamic memory and non-dynamic memory as we move along. Um, when you get to pointers and those kind of things, you'll, you'll get to know more about it. But for now, it is non-dynamic. After you make a uh, give a size to an array, you cannot change later in the program. For now, okay. All right. Um, so, how do you initialize an array? Um, or just a small information before you know how to initialize an array is uh, when declaring an array in a local scope like maybe within a function, even the main function, without specifying the value, each element in the array will have an undetermined value. That means that it can have, it will randomly put any values that it pleases in, in, inside the particular location in the array, in each and every location in the array, if you have not defined the va um, value, okay? But global and static array of fundamental data types will be initialized to zero by default. Okay. <coughs> uh, now, to assign initial values when declaring an array, we have to put uh, those values in curly braces. Okay. For example, as you can see here, I have declared, declared uh, my array uh, array. Uh, of int type that can store three values and uh, I have said 7, 256 and 1024 those three values will be stored in my array okay and it can be represented in this table right here as you can see index is 0, 1 and 2 and three values are 7, 256 and 1024 uh, make a note that index starts with 0 so maximum values that you can access would be up to two right here. We'll talk more about it later on. Okay. Now accessing the values. Each values in the array can be accessed to read and write by calling that array variable in given syntax right here. You can say array name and you can give the index. 
okay that way you can access uh, that uh, value to read and write that means you can either change the value in that particular location in the array or you can uh, you know do something with that value okay you can assign this value to any other variable or assign any value to this variable we'll also look into some code on uh, what I'm talking about right now okay so here's a example code uh, I have declared a int uh, my array with uh, seven different values okay but note that I have only given six values here so 7 to 56 thousand 24 77 88 and 12 and I have said that uh, my array 6 equals to 100 that means 6 since I said that it starts with the index 0 6 means the seventh value okay that this is very very important to important to know okay don't miss this part out uh, 6 means it is the seventh value and here 7 means the number of uh, elements that are going to be the going to be in the array and uh, this uh, part right here is when you are declaring an integer and this is when you are trying to uh, do something with the values okay you are, you don't see any int i'm declaring here so this means that you are trying to access a value okay so seventh value i'm assigning 100 to it and i'm saying mm, new integer x is going to have the sixth value from my array so after first line uh, the array can be represented as this as you can see and after second line the seventh value is going to have the value of 100 and after third line x is going to have 12 in it okay so um, let's see a uh, character array or sequence of character would be you know um, a string uh, I have told you about some of it about a strings before uh, a string is just a sequence of character and uh, so a string can be represented just as the array of char type okay for example if you say char my string and it's going to have 15 uh, values in this my string uh, array then you can store this hello world double exclamation and as you can see I have uh, put in a backslash zero that is a uh, that means a null character uh, that is um, the value of null character in a in ASCII um, so it which means that the sequence of character ends here it doesn't matter if it have not fulfilled all 15 spots uh, what it does is you cannot exceed more than 15 but you can do less than 15 very easily but uh, you have to put a slash zero in the end just to say that character ends right here okay and let's say if you have more than 15 characters um, uh, that you are trying to store in my string then what it's going to do is that last index is going to contain is going to be replaced with slash zero okay as as I've said here in, in this little note right here okay and a double coded string by default is null terminated sequence of characters so this statement right here is perfectly valid I have declared a character sequence uh, my string with hello world double exclamation uh, you might notice here space is also a character and I can easily assign that my string to a string uh, which is of type string right pretty straightforward so this is uh, this is all you need to know about one dimension array of character we'll talk more about uh, multi-dimension in the next video but uh, for now I'm going to show you a simple piece of code um, which is stored in file array.cc I'll upload this file to my website and so here um, uh, some some things that you can do with array I have declared a character my string that that basically have um, uh, five characters one is x next is space then is equals then another is space then null character terminated and i have another another character sequence my string 2 which have which you can just say double double code x equals blah blah and as i said double coded string is automatically null terminated so this is also a sequence of character of length 5 okay it's perfectly valid to write it this way now my string 2 you are replacing the 
uh, first value in my string 2 which is x with y okay now and uh, as I said this is also perfectly valid you can assign this character sequence into a string variable because they are all in same and in my array I have declared another array the same thing that I showed in the previous code um, you can just um, six values to my arrays and the seventh value is going to be 100 now what I have done here is trying to show you how you can access the value what I have in this code you have written some uh, value to the array variable now here I'm trying to read the value and I have uh, read sixth value from my array and stored that into X right and here what I have done is I added I have stored now there's a difference between this and this as I have so showed in my earlier videos and what this one is doing right here as the comment says is that I'm accessing my array in the X position where X will have two because my array five is two right here right sixth value and so X will have two and uh, I have accessed uh, my array 2 and stored that into y then what it does is that x is going to be incremented by 1 okay so now x value would be 3 but before making it 3 it will store that value second third value from my array into y and here in g first this is going to happen where it will add one more to x so previously x value was 3 now it's going to be 4 and so it is accessing the fifth value of my array which basically would be 88 and store that into G so I'm expecting Y to have uh, 1024 G to have 88 right and now I'm just printing out whatever I have stored right here okay so character array my string which is this one right here uh, I'm printing out what it's going to be I'm expecting X space equals space and then done okay um, string value a string which just basically is my string 2 after I replace X with Y and that's what I'm expecting here and uh, I'm expecting another one I'm printing another my string right here and uh, then X right here so my string is just X equals to uh, whatever the value of X is and then my string 2 is Y equals to whatever value of Y is and then here is G equals to whatever value of G is then I'm printing out my, my array in the putting that into for loop I'm accessing one value at a time and this is how you print out the array okay and just an end line in the end and let's see how does this compile okay uh, let's run it there we go now I'll run this as program name array so as you can see character array my string is equals to x space equals space which is exactly what we expected a string is y space equals space which is exactly what we expected now the value of x is 4 right because we changed the value of x two times here originally the value of x was 2 plus 1 3 and plus 1 4 so value of x is 4 value of y is 1024 just as we expected and the value of G is 88 just as we expected and my array is exactly perfectly normal just as we expected right so ladies and gentlemen array uh, pretty straightforward uh, I don't think you have any problem reading this and um, I hope you understood uh, what uh, array is so you can grab this file from uh, from my website digitalestate.org and um, should be just play around with it and get a more feel feel to it and you, you'll be able to write pretty good program after you know arrays and it's very very helpful okay so thank you for watching just go to digitalestate.org for resource files and uh, in next video I'm going to talk about multi-dimensional arrays have a good time hope you understood what arrays